Alright, so here's the second part of the tutorial and uh, the end card tutorial. And this is basically, we created the end card template in Photoshop, and now we're actually going to turn it into an end card. And so we just need to open up that um, desktop, open up that template we just made in the other tutorial. And we're just going to, again, this isn't going to be a very basic tutorial. This is just um, you know, assuming you know your way around. So all I did was click and drag it in, and I like to make mine about, I think, 10 seconds is a good amount of time. I mean, you can do it longer. You can do it as long as you want, but uh, 10 seconds is good. Maybe, uh, let's go with 15, I guess. All right, 15 seconds. So as you can see, there's two black spots, and that's where our videos are going to go. And what a good tip is to um, change the opacity down a little bit so that when we start at putting the clips in you can see them through the background all we're going to do is insert um, let's just open up I'm going to ins insert some more media so find your media because you're going to try to fill in those two black squares with videos because that's what the end card is um, and where's my video files miscellaneous no video files miscellaneous footage Untitled. Don't know what that is. Okay, that's perfect. All right, so now let's drag it down. Um, obviously, you don't want any sound, so we will ungroup that by hitting U, and then we're gonna hit delete. And let's just pretend that there's two separate clips here. So I will drag another one down. Whoops! Make another video track. Make sure that's on the very top and pull that one in. And then just shrink it down to size. Shrink it down to size. Alright, so now you can see there's they're too big and I see I made it transparent so I could see. This is gonna be uh, a 720p video. Um, so I have figured out that if I go to event pan crop and then I change this width, making sure that lock aspect ratio is clicked and th this is not clicked and that this is at move freely I go to 40 I type in 4900 and it makes it the right size but I can't see it because I'm doing the bottom clip we want to do the top clip first so let's just uh, go to the top clip oh, that was the top clip wasn't it I'm just uh, clicked, I clicked, and then I'm scrolling down with the mouse wheel so I can see. Oh, okay, here we are. I see. Perfect. So now, ah, the file was not 720p that I just moved in. But regardless, you can just see that it's um, it's actually pretty darn good. There, centered. You can just use the arrow keys to nudge it into place, and. You can see I just moved it over to fill in that spot. And now we'll do the same with the bottom one. We will go to Event Pan and Crop. Scroll out so I can see my workspace. Send this to 4900. And then um, just grab it, and move it over. Trying to get it centered as best you can. And that's that's really pretty much it. Um, turn the opacity back up, and then go to the beginning. Oh, that's what I did wrong. That's another thing. What's well, good? I did it wrong, so I can show you. You have to make sure that your keyframe where you resized it is at the very beginning, or you just delete the beginning one, and so then it's in the right spot. And I will check this one too. See, so look at that. I resized it in a few different places. Apparently, let's just delete that one and delete that one and it looks like it is fine so yeah this this keyframe here is putting it in the right place and since it's the only keyframe it's making the whole clip in the right place so now if we go to the beginning and we hit play you can see my two videos are playing in there just fine and that is your end card and you can obviously put some video or some music to the background so it's not just boring 
and then when you upload it onto YouTube, you add your annotations. And um, well, maybe I'll make a third portion showing that. That would be good. I'll make a third video showing the annotations and how you actually put it on there. So actually, what I'm going to do now is just render this. Um, make sure I switch this and make the disable resample because you always got to do that with video game footage. File, render as. I'm going to render it as a 720 video. This will be whatever, title it end card one. And then you have your you have your end card created and you just add that to your main um, video that you are trying to put on YouTube so whatever that video might be just throw in that rendered end card onto the end of it and you now have an end card at the end of your video just like this one there is an end card at the end of it and I rend then you obviously render both of them together as one large video and then put it on YouTube and the th we will go on to the third part of this tutorial, which is actually putting it on YouTube.